Like a sleeping giant rudely awoken, the Calpuco reminded Chile that 43 years of lying dormant is just a catnap in the life of an active volcano. The more than 10 million year old volcano erupted suddenly late Wednesday. Now, many of the 4,000 residents of Ensenada, who were forced to evacuate, were briefly allowed to return to the so-called red zone to check on their homes and clear roads and roofs as best they could. I came to remove the ash from the roof so it won't collapse. We are nervous and don't know when we will be able to return home. A state of emergency remains in effect in towns and cities near the Calbuco. The volcano is very unstable and it could erupt again. Actually, it is still in eruption, but I mean it could be larger lava flows, mudslides and explosions that could put people's lives at risk. As the Calbuco continued to belch huge clouds of volcanic ash in the direction of neighboring Argentina, where air traffic has been severely disrupted, here, volunteers distributed food and water to those trying to salvage their belongings or simply find their pets. These cows are sitting in what 48 hours ago were lush green pastures. Now they and other livestock are also being evacuated. There are at least 600 animals that we need to take elsewhere because there is too much ash and they will starve if they remain here. Most of this volcanic ash actually looks and feels like a collection of little stones, as you can see. Absolutely everything here is covered in it. But the worst part isn't trying to clear this all away, which could take as long as a year. It's the uncertainty about whether the Calbuco volcano will go back to sleep or whether it will erupt again at any time. That's something experts tell us only the volcano knows for sure. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Ensenada, Chile.